If you've got one of these BMW S1000RRs, they have an interesting setup with the dynamic damping control, and that is the front compression and rebound damping are adjusted in a single movement, so you can't separate the two. At the rear end, it is separate. What I'm gonna talk about in this video is how you can separate the front and get more adjustment at the front end suspension. If you've got a BMW S1000RR, you'd probably know that the damping setting for the rear shock, you can actually adjust rebound and compression separately, but you actually cannot do that with the front end. And the reason is quite simple uh, without getting into the technical aspects of it. At the rear end, BMW have fitted a position sensor, which allows the computer to understand whether the bike's moving up or down. And because it knows that, it can actually treat the damping associated with that movement separately. So hence, you've got adjustment there to speed up or slow down or soften or far, you know, or hard, hard, whatever language you want to use, the damping at the rear end for the compression and the rebound separately. Now, the front end on the bike of the BMW with the DDC installed does not have that same position sensor. Therefore, the computer doesn't know if the bike is moving up or down. So when you set the damping at the front end, it's actually combined. So now damping is basically um, a controlling of the oil flow. And if we limit the rate at which oil can move through a hole, then it's gonna slow down the compression, and slow down the rebound. If we expand that hole and allow the oil to flow more freely, then the movement can occur more quickly. And that's basically what damping is. Now, I was put onto this because I talked to my good friend, Chris Lynch, who does the mechanical work for the Superbike School here in Australia. Um, I was talking about a feeling that I've got, the front end feels like it wants to tuck a little bit. And then he was talking to me about, first of all, us changing the um, compression and rebound damping at the front end. Unfortunately, you couldn't do that. So he put me onto a, to a device that is made by a, a company called 2D. And it's called a 2D position sensor or a front suspension position sensor. And it basically replicates what's on the back of the bike here. Now, the installation of that device is super, super simple. So I'm not even going to explain other than show you where it's installed. It's, in, it's installed and fitted to the left fork leg. And then it is simply plugged into the wiring harness and the wiring harness has got a place for it. It's already ready to go and it's a plug and play. The moment you plug it in, it is going to appear with separate compression and rebound damping on the dashboard. So it's a very, very cool device. Now, a couple of things about it. First of all, you know, once you've installed it, like I said, you can now go in and you'll see a separation of the front rebound and compression damping settings. So you can adjust these separately, which is basically what we were trying to do. Now, an important thing, a feature about this particular bike, and it's the same with the back, if you, with the back, if you change the preload on the motorcycle, you're changing the position of the bike with respect to where the wheel is, right? By changing the preload, you change the sag, you're moving the frame away from the wheel a little bit. So what you've got to do is you've got to calibrate the bike so that it knows where neutral is, basically. Well, it's exactly the same for the front. Once you've installed this 2D device, you plug it in, it will naturally detect the separation of compression and rebound and it'll appear on the dash straight away. You have to calibrate it and it's quite a simple process of going into the uh, DDC settings, find calibrate or it's, you know, it appears as C-A-L-I-B and then you just activate that and it will calibrate with the bike just sitting there on the side stand. So uh, you've got to do that there and then, you know, go for it. You've got the adjustment. So uh, there you go. Hope you found that useful. Well, where can you go and get one of these 2D suspension sensor devices? Well, here in Australia, you can get it directly from S1KR Racing. Uh, that's from Shane Kinderis down there in Victoria. Uh, or if you're in Europe or overseas, there'll be distributors. You can go straight to um, Alpha Racing over in Europe and they have them there as well. So uh, there you go. If you've got a BMW S1000, go get yourself one. Uh, cheapest chips, absolutely worth it.